Hello, this is Budridge and I think I am done with uh, the thumb nailing adding script and I thought um, this video I will uh, show you uh, how it works now when it's done sort of uh, and we will discuss a bit uh, more uh, details regarding thumbnails, some of the issues I have encountered and such and how you can avoid them uh, yourself and what not. Um, so I completed the script here. I thought let's make this video like this instead. I, I already have the script and then we can quickly uh, uh, read it together here and I will explain what's going on. Uh, so yeah, I'm testing that uh, way, whatever. We have the main function. You see if we have a target file here, trg target. Um, if that variable is not set, which it isn't, then it will set it to $1 here. And it will also test if that file exists. If it doesn't exist, erx, which is an error function that exits the script and prints something, either to standard out or as a not notification. So the error function, it's uh, this part here. So that's... <laughs> almost half of the script, whatever. If it does exist, it continues here. To, to do the same thing with the second argument to the command here, and the command is of course uh, thumb adder here is the command. If the second argument uh, is a file that exists, then it will not do this thing here uh, and continue on, because then it have uh, the second argument which should be an image file but if it's not um, if no second argument is present then um, it will open a sanity and let us choose uh, a thumbnail have some test thumb uh, files and thumbnails here uh, so we can test this here thumb adder that execute this script with only uh, one argument or the, the the path to this file and then it let me choose uh, choose an image and it sets the image the, and the file chooser is spawned by this if we don't uh, select an image uh, then img here uh, will be empty it will not uh, be an existing file and then this uh, error message is uh, printed instead so that's what we see here no image selected and that's all we need here to create our thumbnails it's this is more or less what we discussed in in the first video about thumbnails here um, maybe i should uh, make a little um, note on this also uh, this is just something i um, yeah i i just read on uh, how to do this right now um, but uh, you know xdg is uh, like a standard i think i have the wiki page open oh here's lambduk also yeah i just watched uh, this uh, <laughs> about the code it's funny how these things seems to always line up you know i remember uh, you know that drama you do you remember this when when uh, two other youtubers made some critiques about uh, richard stallman and linus torvalds i made a reply to one week later uh, that whole thing with Richard Stallman blew up you know and now this gnome thing uh, I did a video one day later completely unrelated uh, of that uh, Landuk makes a gnome critique here and who knows where what what's going on in two weeks you know I'm just saying uh, also interesting I, I watched this video I don't know if you have it's uh, Kevin, kind of a good video uh, interesting uh, he mentions that one of the co-founders of GNOME responds to a letter he sends to the GNOME Foundation and that uh, co-founder, Frederico, uh, is actually one of the uh, users that were... Um, or users, he, he is uh, like one of the founders of, uh, of uh, GNOME and GTK here. Uh, this guy. And he's kind of active in this thread and uh, from what I can see he, he has kind of a good attitude. Uh, uh, better than, than many other uh, developers in this thread that I mentioned. But let's not uh, uh, pour more gasoline into this uh, uh, fire. 
Uh, ARC, 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 wiki, xdg, user directories, um, xdg user deeds is a tool to help manage well known in quotation mark user directories. And this is like a, a standard, this xdg, it have a, a couple of different standards uh, from free desktop. Um, and one standard that has uh, become more and more uh, uh, common, and I think it's a very good thing, is that uh, we are now expected to have this environment variable set xdg config home. Uh, that should be set to uh, dot config. But there are a couple of more xdg directories that are more like recommended uh, environment variables or what to say that uh, you never know if they are set or not. It's easy to automatically set them with these uh, uh, commands described on this wiki page. But some of these variables point, points to uh, common uh, directories in the home directory often like uh, downloads directory, music directory, pictures directory and things like that. And you know, maybe you want a custom name for it, or maybe you are using a non-English uh, uh, system, and then, then your um, directories might have, uh, or will have, different names. It's like impossible for me as a script writer to write a script that will work for everyone, because I don't know what you call your uh, pictures directory. Uh, but if the user is using this xdg uh, user did, then you can uh, query that for the, the the location. So you do that by, by doing this xdg user did, and then the name uh, in English of, of in, in all caps like this of, of the directory. And that will print the path to this is my pictures directory for, for instance. Whatever, just a small little side note about that, but kind of interesting and good to know if you want to do something like this. But uh, still, uh, I know that on a bare ARC system, these XDG things, they are not set up by default. And uh, especially when you're not installing a desktop environment either, uh, you have to do it yourself. So you, you can not assume that this is uh, set up. Uh, and if it isn't, then this will this variable will, will be unset and then I default it to the home directory. And I do this because then I can CD into this directory before I, I open Sanity to, to um, make sure that it opens Sanity, the file chooser, in the image uh, directory like this. Kind of a long side note, but whatever. Then I use this command uh, in case uh, the, the TRG here, the, the file that we want to change the, the thumbnail for, if uh, the path to that file is uh, relative, then this command will print the full path to the file. So, yeah. It's important to use no sum links here also because otherwise a uh, real path here will follow the sum links and then you will create a thumbnail for the file that the sum link points to and not the sum link itself because the entries in, in the thumbnail cache are uh, unique uh, for sum links and, and not so, they are unique to each location uh, in the file or each path. Whatever. So we, we will get a, an absolute path here to a file. For example, it, it would look something like uh, this. This is an absolute path, you know, starting with the slash and then whatever. URI, that's a function here I, I created called get URI. We pass the full pass path here, for example, this into get URI, which we have down here, and get URI. It takes this path, uh, prefix it with a file colon slash slash and then pipe that string without a trailing uh, a new line. So this is important. Uh, it piped that to curl, which I have found is the most effective way to do this, even if it might look uh, really stupid here and, and bloated. Because what I do here is I first pipe this string into curl and curl will uh, create a URL out of this string. Uh, then I pipe that into cut to remove the three first characters. 
and then I pipe the result into Z and do a, a bunch of substitutions here. Um, and I guess this is worth uh, breaking down a bit. Uh, what we could do first and foremost is uh, let's do this ERM. Maybe we should do this. Let's create a local variable here, we call, call it URI is equal to the output of this whole thing here. And then we can print a message with that whole thing here. This. So now if I change a uh, um, thumbnail. This is uh, the URI, the resulting URI we get uh, from this command here. Now this maybe is a weird example since it's so many um, uh, strange characters here. Uh, we, 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 it escapes a lot of, of, of the characters. But that is the whole point of using curl and stuff here. Because we want to make sure that uh, the characters get escaped correctly. And this is not like uh, you cannot just add a backslash in front of an unknown character. Uh, you have to escape them with, with certain um, escape character codes. Uh, I guess I have a, a page for this as well. Uh, URI encoding. Yeah, one of these, I guess it is. Yeah, this is a good page uh, to see what, what different uh, characters that could uh, be escaped and how to escape them uh, when you're creating URLs. It's not a perfect document for this and I haven't really found a specification that works 100%. I, I, I more or less had to brute force uh, to see which uh, characters to escape and not. And that's why I have this weird said thing here. Uh, because... Uh, if we do this instead here, and then we do an sorry, but you or I and we can remove this. I think this will work now. single quote there now it works done better um, selecting a thumbnail now it should print uh, uh, the URI here uh, before we, we pipe it to Z so you will see how it looks and it's uh, remember the URI is not the thumbnail uh, path it's the path to the file so here you can see um, the URI that I get from this curl command uh, one one um, obvious thing is that all slashes, forward slashes, which are uh, uh, escaped as well here, um, which is one thing that you should not escape uh, if, if they are part of the path. Uh, but it actually escapes every character except the tilde in, in this weird string here. But if we look at, uh, for example, this video file here, now you will see another thing that will we'll soon discuss that when you change uh, the thumbnail for a video file it doesn't really work it uh, blinks like that and then it goes back to the old thumbnail we talk more about this soon and this is how this looks um, but it doesn't work uh, to just send the, the raw curl output here we need to change to, to unescape some of the uh, escaped characters uh, and, and and this is I, I I'm not really sure exactly why or how uh, these URI things work here in this thumbnail context but apparently uh, uh, ampersand dollar sa uh, sign plus parenthesis colon equal at and comma these uh, should not be escaped if they are escaped then it will not work uh, uh, the thumbnail will not uh, get registered, so to speak. 
Um, and curl, uh, this might look bloated and stupid, but it is actually the fastest way I have found to do this. And, and it is very fast. This is time, this command on my system here times in at about uh, uh, 15 milliseconds uh, tops. Uh, I also tried a method that I found online uh, using a, a Perl one-liner, but Perl much slower than, than using curl uh, for, for this purpose, even with the set and cut and, and stuff here. Okay, uh, let's restore this get URI function to its original glory. Controlling C. This ERM there. Good. Uh, and it also works uh, perfect with, with like any type of character. Here you can see I changed the thumbnail for an mp3 uh, with only Japanese characters in, in the file name and it works uh, without any problem with, with this method. Um, when we got the URI then we can generate the thumbnails uh, themselves. Um, and we pass the image that we want to add uh, and the URI. These are the only two needed, but uh, also pass the target uh, TRG here, which is the file that we want to change the thumbnail for. This isn't really needed. We, we get back to it here. Um, here is the generate thumbnails uh, function. First, we get a MD5, uh, just piping the URI now to MD5 sum. Uh, showed you this in a previous video, um, like two videos ago. And that uh, uh, MD5 is what's used here when we store the thumbnails in the cache directory. Uh, we have a directory called thumbs and there we have normal and these are the file names here are uh, MD5 hashes of the URI to a path on, on the file system. Uh, so we get that MD5. Um, we also create these two directories here, large and normal. That's what I'm doing here, using the P option to create any necessary uh, uh, subdirectories. Um, then I create a temporary directory called uh, uh, with no special name, but I use the MK temp. Store the path to that uh, temporary directory here in a variable. Create an array. Uh, because these two directories here contain uh, two different sizes of thumbnails, uh, large and normal. And the sizes of them are 128 and 256, and I believe this is the height of the thumbnail. Um, so I create an array for this just to make it seem easy here we, uh, by using a for loop to loop this array uh, using the exclamation bar, uh, uh, mark here that will expand this thing here uh, to all uh, keys in the array and it will print the, the, the key. So it will print here 128 and 256 will be two different objects here uh, for, for this loop. So F will be uh, uh, one of these two numbers. If you don't print the uh, use the exclamation point uh, mark, then it will instead print the values of, of uh, those elements in the array. And um, then I call this uh, GDK Pixbuff thumbnailer command that creates thumbnails uh, really efficiently and fast. Uh, set the size to F, which will be one of these two numbers. Uh, the image I want to uh, generate the thumbnail from, which is yeah the image we have selected. And then the target where I want to create this. And I created inside this uh, TMP uh, deed here. Uh, because next step, I move that uh, newly created file into the thumbnails directory here. And this is why I use this uh, array thing here. Because then uh, I know that if I have 128, then the, the, that index of the array will also contain the name of, of the directory I need to store it in. And there I, I uh, use the MV with the F option here to force uh, and overwrite uh, any existing thumbnails. That's why I uh, use two commands here. 
And then we just remove that temporary directory when it have done these two files. Um, when that's done, I just touch uh, the file uh, to um, because when when we do so, then Thuner will uh, update its view. Uh, I guess it's easy to illustrate that if I comment a touch out here, and then add a new thumb here. Um, it will not update uh, the, the uh, file manager window here, but if I go in and out of the uh, uh, directory, it will. So that's why I use touch. Okay, so this works fine, you know, and, and you can use it like this. You can execute it from, from Thunar. Maybe I should show you that really quickly also because it's so simple. Uh, in Thunar, you can create your own custom actions. I have created one action here that's called thumb adder. And yeah, this is the command. I just add uh, the same command as I would execute this script with from a command line, but then pass percentage %f, which will be the selected file in Thunar. And I have also selected here uh, this to be available for all uh, files, but not directories. And when you have that command, uh, then th then it will be available in either the, the context menu that you get for right clicking an item or in the file menu here and here you can also set a key binding uh, which I have set to control U so I can also use yeah that to, to change the thumbnail uh, so that's one way you could add it uh, use this you could also do it from the command line uh, or you can use it inside a script you know because maybe you already know which uh, image you want to append to it then you can just add that as a second argument and then it will be automatic Alright, so I will upload this uh, to uh, uh, GitHub. Uh, I will link it in the show notes. If, if the link isn't there now, it will be soon, very soon. But probably, yeah, it shouldn't be a big deal to upload this to GitHub. So l l the link is probably there when you watch this. Um, some, somewhere on Bud Labs on GitHub. Um, so you can test this yourself. Um, don't think I will make like an AUR package for this, it feels somewhat silly and also uh, it isn't 100% uh, perfect uh, and that is what I want to talk about now. One thing is this video thumbnail this thing here, because when I try to add a thumbnail for a, for a video, it just blinks, it sets the thumbnail but then it reverts back to the movie thumbnail because What's happening here is that uh, it triggers uh, the, the FFmpeg automatic thumbnailer that I have installed. If you don't have any movie thumbnailer installed, then this wouldn't happen. And maybe this only happens with Tumblr, I'm not sure. Uh, and Tumblr is like an XFCE uh, uh, thumbnailing demon thing that you can install that automatically, automatically creates thumbnails. But I do believe it works for, for other uh, desktop environments and other file managers uh, other than Thunar. But I'm not sure. This is how it works here for me. And I would guess that something similar would happen for you as well. Um, so I, I've spent the last couple of days trying to, to uh, figure out how to uh, avoid this in, in, inside a bash script like this. Um, one page uh, this uh, led me to uh, was uh, this thumbnail specification document here from uh, free desktop uh, which have uh, this uh, part in the specification this specification is not long at all you can read this in, in five minutes uh, about everything about thumbnail so kind of a recommended read if you're going to experiment with this yourself uh, but uh, one interesting part here is this uh, uh, thumbnail attributes and there are two required attributes uh, which are called the thumb URI and the thumb M time and uh, these attributes uh, they are tags that are embedded into the PNG image of uh, the thumbnail PNG here uh, should have these uh, 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 these attributes so 
Let's see which one this is. Not that. Then I guess it's this. Yeah, this is the video thumbnail. Um, it's uh, the original. No, it's this. It's the automatically uh, created thumbnail from FFmpeg. And now if we test this again and comment out touch here. Uh, and then I guess we can close this as well. And if we generate a thumbnail with thumb adder here again, uh, just take one random one here. There, it didn't update the thumbnail uh, at all now. We didn't even see it blinking. And now, no, not that one, this one. Then. Yes, this is a thumbnail I choose there for, for the video thumbnail. And these uh, ping attributes, uh, you can view them in, in different ways, but I think the easiest one is to use uh, uh, a command that's, uh, that comes with image magic called uh, identify. Uh, I can see I already tested this a bit here. So identify verbose option, god damn it. Uh, verbose option and then the path to a file that will print out a lot of information about that uh, uh, image file um, And here this is the one that I created um, Yeah, let's just leave it there and then Enable or I don't even think we need to enable the touch there, but let's do it that way Let's create a new one Whatever there. Now you saw it blinked and it automatically updated the thumbnail. So that means I can run the same command again here because this will still point to the same same file. But the file is now updated to the one that uh, FFmpeg automatically uh, generated. And when FFmpeg thumbnailer uh, generates a thumbnail, it's a good boy and it adds these. Uh, uh, attributes that are required the thumb m time and the thumb uri here and the uri is exactly the same string as as we use uh, before we we md5 encode it you know so we got this information and this m time is also easy to to acquire it's uh, the modification time of the original file as indicated by stat which is represented as second since january the first 1970 so i believe it's Unix epoch uh, time uh, and you can actually get this uh, uh, m time this modification time uh, with the command stat um, which is uh, one of the lines I had commented out here so this command uh, actually get get the that uh, m time that we want yes we could even test it here if we do C capital Y here we can see the M time here. Uh, it's the M time of this file here. So stat C percentage capital Y path to the file. Oops, I guess I should quote file path. There. This is the M time and it uh, it is the same uh, as the M time encoded in, in, in the ping thumbnail. So I got all the information I need here. Um, the problem was, uh, I had two problems. One was to add these uh, 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 attributes. I, I spent quite a lot of time trying to figure out how to do it correctly. Not really sure if I have found uh, uh, a good way to do that. Uh, one tool I discovered uh, while doing this is called XIF tool. Uh, and XIF tool is, uh, yeah, as you can hear on the name, a tool uh, that you can use to work with XIF uh, information in, in images. And it works for all kinds of images, not just JPEG, which where XIF is native, you know, but uh, 
and it's not really called EXIF uh, in, in PINGS, it's, it, it works quite differently. Um, yeah, now I did EXIF on, on the video file here, that doesn't work, uh, take the thumbnail, thumbnail, EXIF2, there, here we can see, uh, it, with EXIF2 it looks like this, and I thought that I, it would be easy to change uh, or add uh, tags and attributes with this EXIF2, but apparently it was quite tricky to do so, uh, especially with ping images. So I, uh, uh, but while I was uh, trying testing this out and searching for information about it on, online and stuff, I, I also found that you can add these uh, attributes with uh, image magic. So let's go back here and change this again here so we get a custom Columbia egg. Now this thumbnail is Columbia egg, yes. So this thumbnail. Um, I, I prefer uh, Image Magic's uh, way to do this much more here to print the information. Uh, it, it's to me it's easier to to read and write and stuff because you can actually use Image Magic. Uh, to, to uh, add attributes by using convert and then just use set and then we can do uh, thumb colon colon uh, URI and then we can set that to whatever and then the input file and then we can make an output file here like this. I think this will work. And now we can see that have that thumb URI there. Uh, and uh, it will also show up uh, in EXIF tool. Um, show up here but I do get this warning here so this was something I, I got kind of got sucked because I was really certain that this was the issue while why uh, the thumbnails blink like this why why FFM big thumbnail automatically uh, uh, created a new thumbnail because I thought it was because of this m time uh, uh, attribute here that had had a different value from the file or it didn't have any values at all and then it automatically created a new thumbnail because that is what the specification here uh, say that the reason for this attribute is is uh, yeah so you can detect modifications and regenerate thumbnails uh, if a file changes and stuff like that so I was I was more than certain that this was the issue you know oops where do you not hear this um, when I saw this warning, then I thought, mm hmm, it feels like uh, when you use uh, image magic to, to, to set these attributes, you get these warnings, it's not uh, set correctly here. It inserts the text at the wrong place in the ping or whatever, I, I'm not sure. Um, but apparently it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter at all. Uh, even if you would set this correctly, I, I tested this with uh, thumbnails that FFmpeg thumbnail had created itself. Uh, with the correct uh, uh, modification time, it still overwrote, overwrote its own thumbnail, so it always does that, you know, when the file changes. So I don't think it is this M time uh, uh, key. And another problem I found was that when you write these um, uh, in with with the convert option in in uh, Image Magic. See, I think I have it here. Yeah, here I have this command here uh, that sets the end time and the target here. The target is the URI. Uh, uh, Image Magic uh, spits out a bunch of errors uh, when you uh, try to set the URI here, but when that conti contains uh, percentages, <laughs> which uh, you more or less always have percentage uh, characters if you have any weird characters like this. And I just kind of gave up there because I 
it didn't work anyways. Uh, according to my testings, uh, you could never be sure that the file would not get updated by FFmpeg thumbnailer uh, uh, anyways. But I don't know, if anyone knows how to do this correctly and avoid this uh, flickering without using uh, the method I will show you now, uh, I'm, I'm very interested. Uh, because what you can do is, uh, is this. Uh, if we copy these two video, uh, or let's copy this video file and this thumbnail here. Uh, I don't remember if I said so, uh, but I downloaded this video from my own channel with YouTube DL with the right thumbnail command line option and then it will download the video file but it will also download the, the, the actual thumbnail from, from the YouTube video um, and um, let's see if we can find this and it will name the, the thumbnail the same uh, same name as the video file, except it will uh, have the uh, an image extension. I don't know if all thumbnails are JPEGs on YouTube. I'm not sure. Um, I think I have that one here on page three. Uh, uh, uh. Here it is. This is the video. This is uh, this is how the thumbnail looks on, on YouTube. Same thumbnail we have here, and here we have uh, the thumbnail that FFmpeg thumbnailer uh, generates for me. I know I have such boring uh, thumbnails and stuff, so maybe not the best best example, but whatever. If I copy these two files, um, and then we can go out in the home directory, just uh, create a random directory here. Rangdudum. And then I paste these image uh, uh, video files here and the thumbnail here. Um, and now look at this. If I change the thumbnail of the video now to whatever I want, it works. It doesn't flicker. FFmpeg is not uh, thumbnailer is not invoked here. And it doesn't matter if I go back and forth. Now th this is uh, the thumbnail for this video file. And this is still a video file, you know, I can open it here. It's a video Never. Uh, um, and of course, I can add the actual thumbnail. Um, the YouTube thumbnail. So now we have a video file downloaded from YouTube with the same thumbnail as, YouTube, uh, as on YouTube, for example. Uh, this works for other uh, whatever you can set the thumbnail for any file but uh, how do i do this to bypass this uh, ffmpeg thumbnailer thing uh, to do this i had to set up a whitelist in the tumblr or c and let's see here first we should do this pacman ql tumblr because tumblr as i said is the daemon that is responsible for generating thumbnails uh, and QL here will list all uh, files that were uh, installed when I installed the package Tumblr. And here I can see here that there is this uh, RC file uh, in, in uh, the Etsy directory. And this is the default uh, configuration file for Tumblr. So what I did was that I copied that file, which you can find here. Um, I copied that to um, let's do this config tumblr tumblr r c uh, because if you do so then you can add your own uh, settings to this um, and I have I have an old video where I go more in depth about this uh, so but. I do two things here basically. Uh, one is that I disable FFmpeg thumbnailer uh, because this uh, disables the FFmpeg thumbnailer plugin, which is like built into Tumblr. Uh, and if you do so, but still have FFmpeg uh, thumbnailer installed, then it will use uh, the FFmpeg thumbnailer desktop thumbnailer. <laughs> I love saying that word. Thumbnailer, thumbnailer thumbnailer because 
in the directory usr share thumbnailers there are a couple of desktop thumbnailers these are uh, what this section here refers to uh, and this is not disabled and here ffmpeg thumbnailer exists and it uh, it will uh, execute its uh, thumbnailer on video files here and the reason i i do this is because then i can um, change the options here uh, that are passed to ffmpeg thumbnailer which i have done because originally there is an f flag here and the f flag will uh, add like a video strip at the side of the thumbnails which is uh, really annoying and ugly um, but you can also set a locations whitelist here uh, for uh, directories where you want uh, this thumbnailer in this uh, case desktop thumbnailer which uh, is all of these thumbnailers thumbnailer here uh, they will be disabled in all directories that are not listed in this list uh, and yeah you can see the list is uh, separated by semicolon uh, and then you just write the path and this is really nice uh, touch I, in, in my opinion that you are allowed to use uh, a tilde here for the home directory um, and this directory we just created here uh, in, in, in the home directory here is not in this list and another good thing is that uh, the, the directories here uh, it, it includes all subdirectories so you, if I would just write uh, home vid here then all files in the video directory would, would uh, use the ffmpeg thumbnailer um, even in subdirectories yeah you, you get it and, and this is what I've done I, I just uh, wrote down all uh, locations where uh, I, I, I could imagine where, where, where this is interesting and I actually believe th this also improved like uh, 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 performance and stuff you know uh, since the thumbnailer isn't active uh, and, and the testing files in each and every uh, directory and that also what was a way here to to set custom thumbnails for even for uh, uh, video files but still having the automatic thumbnailer when yeah when i don't want to set it because maybe uh, you create a script to download uh, a wrapper around youtube dl or something that downloads video files and then you automatically append uh, uh, thumbnails for the youtube files uh, but this is only for those kind of videos but all other videos i'm um, i'm more than happy than having ffmpeg thumbnailer automatically create a thumbnail instead and i guess that uh, in the next video uh, i think we can make a little short uh, video about uh, how how to do do this to automatically append the the youtube thumbnail to the the downloaded video now, I don't know, since, since this is a standard and everything, you know, this thumbnailer specification and stuff. And I even seen uh, uh, like better uh, versions of, of, of the thumbnailer script here, uh, written in Python, using some libraries and stuff. Uh, and I know that YouTube DL is written in Python. Maybe this could be something for them to consider, have, having this as a command line option. At least to just move uh, the thumbnail, create it and, and move it to, to the thumbnailer directory. I don't know. But it is also quite easy to, do, to write a, a little wrapper. That's, uh, that's like three lines of code uh, to automatically append uh, the correct thumbnail for your downloaded YouTube videos. But we take that in the next video. Uh, I will upload the script to YouTube. I can link this specification page and I can also link the or a wiki page here about xdg directories uh, in the show notes um, yeah have a great day everybody bye